Juliet Echo, you're ten miles from the airport and cleared to land. Roger, Control. See you in ten minutes. I'll be in time to make the airline's meeting after all. You were right about the following wind, Phil. The airport should use your forecasting skills. I'll talk to... Oh, ah! I've got a problem. I'm... I'm... What the hell's happening? Seems to be flying itself. I think that should do. It's back. I've got her. I've got her. I've got control. Oh. 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 Juliet Echo, I'm coming into land. Well done, Phil. What on earth is going on up there? education. You think it was sabotage? Your job to find out. I've had ground crew all over the aircraft itself, nothing. Hold on, pilots, just don't decide to start killing people. If it was the autopilot. Have you traced this? There's no ident. But you have a call recording system, yeah? Of course. I can fish out the fax signal and get the sender's ident on it. You're in here. These are your experts? Yes. They'll need airside passes. Of course. This is Nigel Todd, head of airport security. Nigel, this is Nick Beckett and his team. I hope you know what you're doing. There could have been a major incident this morning. Yes, I know. I was nearly killed. I didn't mean just you, Mrs. Langford. Supposing your plane had come down on the school or on the ring room. They'll need your cooperation, Nigel, if they're to investigate. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all this. <laughs> what, pilot error? I've known Phil for years. He's rock solid. Neither human error nor mechanical failure can explain the facts that was received. Exactly. Someone knew there was going to be a problem. Someone caused it. Who's the, uh... Who's the guy being shown the exit? Just our resident plane spotter. He'd be a bit old for all that, wouldn't he? Kirkby. He's a nuisance. Always here jotting down plane details, asking questions. What he really wants to be is a pilot. The other day, he even managed to get airside. I found him wandering around one of the hangars. Really? Hmm. Perhaps we better have a word with this Kirkby. He, uh... He wouldn't have a reason to want to hurt you, would he? <laughs> you mean what happened was some kind of murder attempt? Well, we can't dismiss the idea. Got the fax signal. What's next? Him. Chat him up. <laughs> Why me? Well, he's not my type. The plane's in isolation. 
No one's been in here since security finished their check. Any ideas? Well, it could be a software problem. Maybe, uh, maybe a virus. What about uh, radio interference? Some sort of um, jamming signal. Yeah. Confusing the onboard system. Hey! Hey! I thought this place was in total isolation. So did I. Someone was keen on giving me a lobotomy. Somebody doesn't like us. What's new? You see who it was? No, mate. Security will pick him up. Look, we need to know about the plane. Do you think it could be a computer problem? It's a possibility, yes. You should talk to Quentin Elverson. What he doesn't know about aircraft computers isn't worth knowing. He invented the Navcom guidance system. Navcom? State of the art. It is, and it's in that plane. Look, he only lives locally. What happened? Oh, nothing. Usual thing, you know. Someone tried to kill me. Oh. This is Richard Wyman, my technical director. Oh. Did you see anyone? Oh. No. I was in the lab. Did you find anything faulty? Sound as a pound. While Ros is with Kirkby, I think I'll check out this Elverson. See if he can. Elverson? He won't have anything to do with it. No one's suggesting he has. We're just looking for information, that's all. Elverson's an eccentric. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Mr. Elverson? No, 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 it's impossible. My NAVCOM system cannot malfunction. You'll find it was the pilot. The human brain can't cope with all that information. The pilot checks out. The hardware checks out. It must have been the software. Oh, it's been tested and tested. The software is recognized as a work of genius. <laughs> I never got any royalties, mind you. What about some kind of um, virus? My software incorporates the most rigorous antivirus protection. It's tamper proof. My programs have won awards, commendations. Well, something went wrong with this plane. Well, it wasn't my software. Now, here's a copy. Yeah. Compare it with what's in your plane. You'll find there are no differences, no glitches. My NAVCOM system has revolutionized flying. We don't need pilots anymore. Planes can fly themselves. Good afternoon, Mr. Kirkby. My name's Shelley King. I'm doing a feature on the impact airports have on the local economy. Mrs. Langford gave me your name. I wonder if you could spare a moment. Lovely, isn't she? Yeah. You know, I'm proud of the fact that there have been Kirkby's on this land since the Norman Conquest. I'm sure you are. But uh, between you and me, I'm not really interested in farming much. You prefer flying? Yes. I suppose you'd call me a plane spotter, but uh, I prefer the term aviation enthusiast myself. <laughs> Is that why you were at the airport earlier? Yes, yes. I like to uh, watch a few arrivals and departures most days. You uh, will let me see what you write, won't you? Oh, of course. Because last time I gave an interview to the press, 
They made me out to be some kind of overgrown schoolboy. Can you imagine what it must be like to fly one of these? Controlling the destinies of all those passengers. What paper did you say you were with again? Oh, excuse me. journalist girl here interviewing me. Mr. Kirkby? Mr. Kirkby? Barking mad. He didn't deserve to die. How was he involved with the plane's loss of control? Watch this. This is the signal of the fax received by the airport. Okay. Now watch. This is the fax I sent from Kirkby's house. It's good enough for me. I can't believe Kirkby was mixed up in all this. Perhaps he was being used. Maybe the facts are some kind of smoke screen. So who killed him? Same guy who tried to flatten me. Icarus. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. What's this? Microwave and UHF scanners. And do you have authority to set that up? Mrs Langford has asked us to do whatever is necessary to get to the bottom of all this. And she is the managing director, is she not? Well, yes. Right. And does Wyman know about this? Yes. What now? Mayday, incoming from Malaga. They've reported complete loss of all control systems. Pilot disengaged. But it makes no difference. We have no control. Repeat, no control. Roger, Hotel Lima 647. Standing by for emergency landing. Airspace has been cleared. Look at this, they're all over the place. How can we land? We can't do anything. We're climbing now, for God's sake. <laughs> This is the captain speaking. You will have noticed the strange movements the plane is making. This is due to a temporary fault in the aircraft system. We are doing our best to rectify it. What kind of guidance system does the aeroplane have? The latest? What, one of Elvison's navcoms, the computers that are better than humans? Probably. Why? Please pay particular attention to the cabin crew and obey their instructions carefully. Hotel 
Hotel Lima, you're too low. Repeat, too low. Pilot error? Well, this is incredible. It's all over the airport. Can we trace the source? Is this a local computer system? Yeah, but it's also on the internet. Terrific. So anyone with a modem and a little patience could have sent this. Oh. I'll have to arrange to get the money. Government guidelines stipulate non-payment of ransoms. What choice do we have? Get the professionals in. Let me call Carter's mob at NAST and eject these amateurs. For all we know, it's their microwave gadgets causing all the problem. Don't listen to him, Mrs. Langford. For all he knows, it's the battery in his watch. <laughs> I don't like it, Mrs. Langford. As head of security, I want them off the airport. Very well, if you insist, Nigel. I'm sorry, Beckett. I'll be in my office if you need me. Look. Mrs. Langford, you've got to trust us on this one. We can sort this out without you having to pay the ransom. These security passes are time-coded, aren't they? Valid till midnight. Yeah. Just let us keep our passes. We've still got eight hours security clearance. If we don't have the answer by then, you can turf us out. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? Come on, guys, let's do it. Todd must have voided our passes. He's not the fool he looks. How long to fix this lock, Ed? It's gonna be one or two weeks worth. One or two weeks? Just don't go away. Look at the other way. Where's Ed? Well, he. he uh, it was a quick couple of weeks. Oh, I was hoping to impress you. Come on in. I'll start with that software of Elvison's then. We'll sweep the exterior. Clean so far, any joy for you chaps? No. Nothing so far. Ed? Nothing. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company.
I hope we've seen the last of you. Feelings mutual. Where's the girl? She's never been big on breaking and entering. So we left her at home. She's got the dinner on. In fact, Ed, we really better be going. I wasn't hungry anyway. Why are you so suspicious of us, Todd? We weren't even here when the MD's plane went haywire. I suppose you think we're Icarus. You were told to leave the airport. You didn't. Instead, you broke into airport property. Trying to help you. Really? You yeah, and we're close to finding the answer. Thank it. Where the hell are you? It's Roz. Ed. Beckett. Where are you? What Can you saying? hear me? Beckett. Ed. Look, the plane started itself up. Pilot Ed. Uh, it, it, it's, it's below the aileron trim, I, I think. It's look, it's, it's to the left of the throttles, just just above the. Uh... And this one marked autopilot master switch. Nothing's happening, Ed. Any other bright ideas? Hang on, ten. Unauthorized aircraft movement. I want full alert. All emergency services on condition red.
Roz. We're going to try and open the emergency door from the outside. I don't know. This is the first time I've been asked to deliver five million quid at three o'clock in the morning. Can we get in a bit closer? Sure. That's her, circling at 12,000 feet. Yeah. We've assumed a set flight pattern. They're circling in about a 10 mile radius, which means they're centered about here village called Hunstead. Now somehow, don't ask me how, somehow someone's flying this plane from the ground. <laughs> but that's impossible. That's the only explanation. So there's something on board receiving a control signal. It's a boat. <laughs> I thought Mr Beckett was leaving. It's one of Beckett's people in that plane, Nigel. They should stay. Oh, please. You're overruled, Nigel. What can they do? We can bring her down. We can also trace the blackmailer. Thank you, thank you. made precious little progress so far. Don't push me. Right. Good. The money's arrived. You're not paying? How do you explain that to the board? Paying the ransom might be Roz's best hope. Roz might be in just the right place to help herself. Roz, listen, there's got to be a receiver on that plane somewhere. Yeah, I figured that. And I'm looking for one. And? I can't find it. Roz, it's got to be there. Ross, look, imagine it was you. If you were trying to override the navigation system, where would you place the bug? I don't know, Beckett. As far as I'm concerned, a plane's just a flying pub. A place you relax with a drink or two on your way to the yeah, beach. Yeah, funny, Ros. You know, you've only got so much fuel. Oh, cheers, Beckett. Don't ever try out for the Samaritans, will you? Don't these damn things have ejector seats? No, and they don't have parachutes either. Why not? Because nothing can go wrong. Yeah, right. That's what they said about the Titanic. At least it had lifeboats. Watch out for those icebergs. Oh, well. Ross. Hang on, Ed. This autopilot's just a computer, yeah? And you access a computer... Via the input ports. Mr. Icarus. Gotcha. I found the bug, guys. Now what? If we disable the bug... Can Ros fly? We'd have to talk her down. What's the verdict, guys? Do I take it out? Yes. So when you do, hang on to that steering column. Just, just keep it steady. Okay. Here it goes.
Rose, put, put the, the bag back, back in. in. I thought of that. I can't find it. Losing far too much height. Leveling out. Whoever had control before has it again. Back to square one. Okay, okay, we're gonna go at least from the other end. If we can find the transmitter, then we can find the control device and we can bring it down safely that way. Assuming you can find this transmitter... Oh, we've had another message from the blackmailers. More details concerning the drop. Where do they want it? The Mole Trap. The Mole Trap? Well, it's a local pub. Probably it's the first place they thought of. They also insist that someone from the airport takes the money. I'll do it. No. It, it might be dangerous. I'll go. All right, but I'm coming with you. No, I don't think so, Mr Beckett. I think it would be better if I went with Mr Whiteman. All right, all right, OK. But let me prepare a bag, OK, for the money, one that we can trace. Ed, you go find a transmitter. Ross, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Good, listen, this control device, any idea of what frequency band it uses? Try around 140, 150 megahertz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, hang on, I think... Yeah, I think I've got something. It's a data stream at about 149 megahertz. It's really faint. Ed, the sun's coming up. I'd kind of like to see it again. No worries, Roz. We'll get you down. Microphone in one of the catches, the transmitter and power sources in the handle, and the aerials wired into the frame. Now, it's almost impossible to detect, but if that fails... I'll do that. Sure you want to go through with this? It's safer with two of us. Wouldn't want you to get lost with all the airport's money. Ed? Don't want to hassle you, but if this fuel gauge works the same as the one in my car, I'd really do with a service station. Doing my best, Roz. Reminds me of the army. Dawn attack. Really? I suppose the nearest you get to excitement is that flying club of yours. I enjoy it. Busman's holiday, I'd have thought. Where are you going? 
Just for a look see. Shouldn't we stick together? Frightened or something? No one here. Stretch your legs, why don't you? We're all alone, Richard. Ed? I haven't got much more time. Just hang in there, Ross. Sure, I'm not going anywhere special. Oh, it's you. gone wrong. Where have you been? I had a few loose ends to deal with. Any longer and the plane will come down on the village. So? Come on. No. I've got to get it down. I want the world to realise what my NAVCOM is really capable of. Why? We've got the money. If there's some poor girl in that plane, I must bring her down. We haven't the time. We've got to get away. No. I'm sorry, Wyman. I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. I had to kill Kirkby. Why? He was just meant to be a convenient scapegoat. Kirkby was a fool. It was just a game to him, a chance to play with bigger toys. Once I realized they could trace that fax, he had to die. Two and a half million quid. That should ease your conscience. Roz, signal's getting stronger. Well, could you get a move on, Ed? Because I'm almost completely out of fuel now. Don't you understand? It's not just the money. I want those idiots to realize the full potential of NAVCOM. Planes without pilots. Error-free flying. You're as big a fool as Kirkby. I'll just give you five minutes to get this girl down. Suit yourself. Hey, Ross. I'm close. Very close. Wyman? I can't believe it. He's our man. He's killed Todd and he's got the money. He's ditched the bug suitcase, but I arranged a backup. And that's what I'm following now. Looks like I've got it. Good. He seems to be heading for a flying club. At Stapleford. Yes, he's a member there. Right. Transmitter and the controls. You took your time. There's just one little problem. 
the one person who knows how to operate this stuff is dead. Okay, Ed, you're the pilot. Get me down. Excuse me. Roz, listen. I fly planes, not computers. I know. Computers are my department. I should be up there. You should be down here. We're in the wrong place. Someone is. The thing is, I fly things a good deal smaller than this ordinarily and call me stranger. When I do, I like to be in the cockpit. It's just a computer, Ed, like a simulator. Oh, yeah. How did you control a plane with this thing? I, I, I can't fly with this. Ah! Ed! You are! You are. I didn't touch a thing. Oh, Ed, don't do this to me! All right. Uh, as far as I can tell, the, uh, the plane's instruments are duplicated down here. The, 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 the controls are graphics. Right. Now, use the mouse to operate the controls. Mouse? Uh, thing with the tail. All right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try something. Stand by. Okay, you, you should start to descend. It's working. Yes. Yeah, I could tell. That was the easy part. Landing's going to be something else. Okay, Rods, you're about six miles from the airport. You should be able to see the runway lights quite soon. Hotel Lima, 647. Rods, isn't it? Come in, please. Hello? We have you on radar. Your approach looks good. Full emergency teams are standing by. Team, thanks. I can see it, Ed. I can see the runway lights. Good. All right. Here we go. Looking good. Still too fast. I need some reverse thrust. With the hell's the reverse thrust? Well, is there anything on the screen you haven't tried? Yes. Yeah, there are two boxes at the bottom of the screen. One says in flight, one says ground. Ed, I'm no longer in flight. Try ground. movie wasn't up to much. <laughs> Beckett busy, is he?
afraid Mr. Wyman rather lost control of things. Captain Ros Henderson. I just can't believe it. All of these years, Wyman's been such a loyal employee, and all the time he was plotting this. Greed can be a terrible thing. Which reminds me, we found this when we recovered the money. Ah. Yours, I believe. Well, any idiot can bug a suitcase, right? A miniaturized tracker using the metallic thread of the note as an aerial. Cool bananas, Beckett. Thanks again, all of you. And remember, any time you want a flight anywhere, I'm sure I can get you a good deal. No, thanks. No offense, but I fancy keeping my feet on terra firma for a while. <laughs> That's a damn shame. I've invested in a terrific gift for you. Flying lessons.